I'm Avoiding Relegation and welcome to episode 3 of The Rise of Oz Balance. We are, well we're doing pretty well, but what I'll do is I'll do the actual proper league review once we've gotten into the game. But we have a game today against Koroshens. It is the championship. We are past the halfway point, so you're getting an idea of what's going on here, but we'll go into more detail after the match. Okay, so this is how we're going to line up for the match. Obviously, our usual 4-3-3. We've got Marcelo Valverde in goal. We've got Zé Pedro Medina, M Marinero, and Raylan forming the back four. Raylan is, in fact, a new signing. Having just joined on January the 1st, he's the right back we needed. And uh, as you can see, he's doing all right already. Seneca in defensive midfield. Pereira and Kickass in central midfield. Left wing Clay, right wing Antunes, and up front it's Ruben. And Ruben is still knocking out the park. He's now on 17 goals. With an average rate of 7.48. So, we hope to see more of that from him today. So, I'll go ahead and submit the team. And that is how we line up against Korushens. And... Go out there and make a difference. We are favourites for this match, to be fair. Other than the cup games, we've pretty much been favourite for every match in the league. So, like I said, cup games, not quite as much. Ruben with the kickoff. Seneca with a pass back to Marinero. He's strolling it forward. Valence, of course, more interested in keeping possession these days in terms of how the tax is set up. Trying to through ball for Clay doesn't happen. It's been cleared, but Raylan picks it up. Yeah, Raylan, young, um, he's the only person I've actually paid any money for. He cost me 2k. That's all. Um, and he has immediately come in and made an impact. Especially as the two right backs we already had, which. A, weren't as good as him. Kick-ass with the shot, and he puts it over. Uh, weren't as good as him, but also both got injured. So we are playing a defensive mid or midfielder at right back for far too long. Medina puts it in. Kick-ass. Finds Ruben. 18th goal of the season. It's Balance 1. <coughs> Excuse me. Kourish ends nil. But yeah, lovely, lovely throw in for Medina. Can't find Marcus. He puts the cross for Kick-ass and... It looks like Ruben was already in mid-air, in mid-header, when he hit that. That's insane. 40 minutes gone, corner to Belenz, Clay to take it. Cleared, but only as far as a Pedro. Seneca with a shot, and it's there! That's his first goal of the season. He, of course, has been playing as back at right back for Raylan appeared. But Clay with the corner. Cleared, but only as far as a Pedro. Zeneca had all that space. What a cracker. What a cracker. 2 0 up after three shots and two on target. Seneca. Again. Antunes outright to Raylan. Holding it up. Antunes with the cross under the head of Ruben, and it's disallowed. For being offside. Never mind. Good effort. Yeah. Just a, just a, just a step offside. Just a step offside. Had he waited a second, he might have been onside. But... Oh. Marquez this time for Corishens. Metro, they've actually got it to a half. Mvuka. And Roxburgh knocks it over. 22 minutes gone. Free kick. Raylan to take it. Oh, what a lovely save. Cracking, cracking... Uh, Free tick, free kick. <laughs> I can't even speak. Look, cracking free kick and a cracking save. That's Raylan's first free kick that he's taken actually since he joined us. It's only his third match, and already he's uh, looking like he's doing pretty decent. He got a an assist in his first match. Clay, Ruben, Medina tries to get the shot off. Clay again, putting it back for nobody. Jose Metro helps with the clearance, but it's five shots three on target for Balance. And only one and none on target for Colushens. Again, apologies if I'm saying that horrifically badly. Yeah, we are the dominant side. Doesn't look like anybody's really struggling. Reaper perhaps not playing to his best. Do we need to show everyone that the recent plays just fine? Put on a real show. Go for it. Go ahead and improve it. I know we're already 2 0 up. It is a good position to be in, and it should have been three had that not won, had that goal not been disallowed. But uh, Kurashen's kick off. That's Roxenborg. I got his name wrong earlier. Ka. 
Mvuka. Roxenborg again. I think I called him Rosenborg. Anyway, doesn't matter. It is all Coruscant's keeping possession. But obviously, seven shots, four on target today, one and nil. I'm going to check in some demand more. It's going to be yell. So, judging by everybody's uh, oh, railing with the throw in, actually at our end, so it shows they've been pushing us. Seneca, switching sides, finding Clay. Is it Pedro? Lovely ball for Ruben. Ruben finds Antunes. Lovely one too. Ruben's through. And it's there. 4 0. Uh, sorry, 3 0. Good job from Ruben. So Pedro finds Ruben. And a one lovely one too with Antunes. Puts him through. And he puts it past the keeper. Good job. 73 minutes gone. Eight shots, five on target. They're there, two and zero. Medina with a throw in. <coughs> Clay putting in front of Raylan. But it is cleared by Coruscant's Machado. Into the middle for Ka. Ka on a yellow. Finds Roxenborg. Mvuka, he's in the box. Can he get his cross in? He does. And he finds Jose Metro at the far post. Is it Metro? Or did I misread that? Miro, sorry. Metro. Jose Miro. And Vuka. Yeah. Whoever was marking him, which I think was a Pedro, wasn't marking him closely enough. But that's fine. We are still 3 1 up. Clay with a free kick. Way off target. So, yeah. I know that I need to replace anybody. Oh, you know what? Clay does need to come off. Um. Tomei can come on for him. I feel like Anchin should possibly be replaced by uh, Brito. Anchin's with the corner. Fabio Marinero makes it 4-1 with his head. Lovely effort. 89 minutes gone. I think we've won this one. I think we've got all three points. It seems unlikely that they're going to score enough goals to come back. Brito comes on to replace Antunes. And sack event. Uh, sorry, not sack event. Sorry. Kurishen's coming forward. Oh, Raylan got back to that one, but that was a bit iffy. Ruben trying to get on the end of that. Pereira coming forward now again. Jose Miro. Raylan with the knob back. And oh dear, that was a mistake and a half, wasn't it? We, I need to see a replay of that. Pereira with the cross. Deep cross. Jose Melro even. Machado with the shot. Raylan nods it back to Valverde. He screws up picking it up. And Machado just jumps on it. That's horrible. That was very horrible. Zepedro with the throw in. Herlander. 4-2 it is. And it is full time. We won the game but I feel like that last goal was a bit iffy, to say the least. Nice work, everyone. That's an absolutely fabulous result. And where does that leave us? Well, we are still first. Still first in Group E. We are pretty much dominant, I would suggest. We've played 13, won 11, drawn 2, lost none. And uh, we have 35 goals scored and only 10 conceded, giving us a goal difference of plus 25. Plus, we're also on 35 points. So, uh... We're looking pretty great. Obviously, as I mentioned before, this competition is in, uh, where are we, three stages. So we're looking good for the promotion stage as things stand. So hopefully that will continue. Um, but like I say, we're looking fantastic. In terms of our cup run, obviously, in episode two, you saw a see off, um, where are we, Santa Clara in the cup, which was absolutely phenomenal, I have to say. Bearing in mind, they were indeed a premiership side. The La Liga side, we uh, saw them off. Um, after that, we had a 4-1 win over Rabo do, do Pieksi. If that is indeed, I don't think that's how you say it, too, but Rabo Day, them. We then beat 5-0 at home, Apario Laga, Lagoa. Lagoa, Lagoa, Apario Lagoa. Again, apologise for all these names I'm butchering in. By the time this save is finished, that'll all be perfect, I'm sure. 
<coughs> Ove, Sel, uh, sorry, O Elvas beat them two now, and then we drew away with St. Trent's, which of course was our first game of the season, whom we boot 2 0 at home. So after that, we then have faced Peter Ferrari, P. Ferreira, um, in the cup, and of course, they are indeed also a Premiership side. But interestingly enough, if you have a look at the Premier League, they're bottom. And at the time of playing them, Santa Clara were bottom and they were 17th. But as it was, they comfortably knocked us out of the cup, as expected. But the fact that the championship side got to the fifth round is uh, pretty awesome, I think. So we're very happy with that. But since then, we smashed Sporting Ideal 5-0 at home. Beat Sack Events, who, of course, were in second place for quite some significant time keeping pace. 3-1. They've now dropped down. And, of course, we just won that 4-2 against Koshen. So... In terms of games left in the uh, championship, obviously in the group stage, we've only got five more left in this group, at which point we will move on to the uh, promotion stage. And of course, that is when we will be back on YouTube. So if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget you can come and join me on Twitch and join in and see what's going on live. And uh, yeah, don't forget to follow me on Twitter too. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Avoiding Relegation. This is the Rise of Osborne Lens. See you next time.